Missiles and Fire Control's been developing simulations for decades now. What's different about the Advanced Rapid Integration Simulation Environment, or ARISE, is our ability to take high-fidelity modern software tools and use those to build system simulations like, like Lego blocks, literally, and to have them fully integrated with mission software, hardware in the loop, and data analytics to help extract information from all of that data. I think what's game-changing about this technology is the integrated nature of those four pillars. Usually each of those pillars are separate, different development activities, they each have different types of integration approaches. By taking those four pillars and combining them together into one product suite, we have the ability to very rapidly put a capability right on the table much earlier than we ever could have done before. The data analytics pieces in particular are used to help us analyze terabytes worth of data that are being generated from our simulation. They are an extra set of eyes that are helping our experts on programs find anomalies that might exist within their simulation before they go on to flight tests. So we can find and solve problems early in the development cycle. With Arise Analytics, our goal is to take uh, what used to be weeks worth of moving data around, visualizing it, figuring out what's important with it, and making it to be an automated process. So you come in on a Monday morning after a flight test event and you have that data readily available uh, to visualize. You have anomaly detection ran on it so that you are already looking at the problem areas without needing to do deep dives. Analytics is the really important sweet spot between decades of experience in simulation, in control algorithms, and in hardware in the loop efforts uh, that our missiles and fire control programs have done, uh, combined with best of breed uh, research, artificial intelligence, commercial data engineering, uh, visualization, DevSecOps. So we're in a really uh, critical place between both of those to provide value to our customers and to our programs in a way that hasn't been done before. The analytics team is uh, coming up with some really great ways uh, to do anomaly detection uh, that, that we haven't done before. So we're using neural network architectures, uh, visualization means to where in the past it would take a single individual or multiple individuals looking through Excel spreadsheets uh, or a single MATLAB plot to where now uh, we're using neural networks uh, to find problems within that data and reconstruct so that when there is a problem we're finding it before a flight test or we're able to figure out very quickly what happened in a flight test to provide that feedback to iterate and to prevent future problems. So Rise Analytics is using artificial intelligence and machine learning to help us develop our products quicker. So after we're done with simulation we can analyze these thousands of runs of data very quickly so we can get to flight tests, we can iterate faster, and we can deliver capabilities to our customer faster than ever. Arise Analytics has been used on multiple missile programs to find anomalies within simulation data. On one program, we've been able to identify problems within a simulation that has led to solutions uh, to fixes into their simulation and their flight code uh, so that we can be better prepared for flight tests moving forward. Arise being developed in-house allows us to have a common repository for components that are developed that allow us to reuse that. They're a common set of building blocks that we can reach into and use between programs that allows us to be really agile, to learn something from one program and carry it over into another program, and that helps us uh, stay very affordable for our customers. Arise Analytics is constantly researching artificial intelligence breakthroughs in academia, uh, commercial data engineering practices that we can adopt uh, every day to our processes. So we've been looking a lot into furthering our model explainability work, uh, our growth in our neural network coverage to multiple different missile subsystems, and then also growing our footprint across our different programs. Every time we integrate with a new program, there are plenty of lessons learned on what happened, what were the problems, and what can we teach and share with the other programs. So Rising Analytics is just getting started. We've applied it successfully to missile telemetry data and shown a lot of value in analyzing that. Uh, we're now going to be expanding that to other product categories within our portfolio as well as the broad benefit of time series data analysis is of use to many different programs.